What are your views based on, yes, the public perception, but also the process of um, considering an impeachment motion? Because it would appear uh, that uh, the minority side feels the their colleagues applied a lot of judicial procedures which were not required at that point. The other side are saying that um, this is not a perception issue. It has to be uh, factually proven. Yes. Um, I think for many Kenyans who are used to the way our parliament operates, it's not, been, it's not surprising that, that um, uh, this was the verdict of the committee. It was expected that um, uh, because there were no indications really um, that the government um, would not, uh, would really, or rather, not, let me not say would not, but there was no indication that the government would allow this thing to hmm. be done impartially. Because from <coughs> the time I think I saw the majority leader, uh, when they were forming the committee, um, uh, when that vote was made, the 149 MPs, uh, he was not in support of it. Um, and, and you could read, therefore, and, and, and he went on, the CS went on attending uh, meetings of government, uh, meetings at State House. One would have expected that um, that ruling or that decision by members of parliament of 149 MPs calling for impeachment, that would have been enough to, you know, if the president mm. was um, uh, intolerant to corruption, he would say, no, sorry, you have a case. Please don't come to these meetings. But there was no indication. He, you know, everything went on. And so it was clear that... Um, um, the, the, the motion to uh, impeach him did not have the support of the government. And so, um, as expected, members of parliament always um, accuse each other that there were, you know, there was, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, improper uh, transactions that, mm. that led to mm -hmm. this thing. This, this always happens, um, and, and, and I think, uh, I'm not surprised, but, but that is it. I, I don't think... Um, uh, this gentleman, I, I mean, there's political expediency involved in these decisions always. And, and I think people take their cue from, from the executive. Where, where is the boss? What is he thinking? Yeah, has he thrown his weight behind these things? Has he silent about it? I think there are a lot of things people look at. And, and on top of that, of course, the, um, the MP will have to do his own bit to try and save himself. And I think that's probably what, what happened. And I think it's clear from the way the voting pattern was, to everyone in government and those supporting government voting, it was clear that either it was a decision of the executive or um, it was an attempt to try and save one of their own, um, you know, as a political, um, yeah, as a political party. And, and then is there any hope then in holding leaders accountable with that very important oversight role that uh, parliament has? I think this is good enough, by the way. I mean, in, there are countries in, in the West I know where you do not have to be taken even to, be, to court. The fact that you are, your name is splashed all over the media and you are accused of corruption uh, you know, that, 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 that alone is enough embarrassment. Mm -hmm. uh, it's enough to really, you know, um, uh, to, to, to make you think twice the next time. You know, you'll be careful how you trade. Mm -hmm. um, so I think, I think it's good enough. Um, I don't think there's anything else the parliament is going to do. I doubt whether they would be willing to do anything. And I don't expect the, uh, the, the president to dismiss him because of, uh, of, of that. Because of, uh, but I think... Um, accountability is always a challenge in, in our country. I think that's the main problem we have. I don't mm. think there's a problem greater than accountability. Attempt right. to try and hold members of uh, the executive to account. That has been our challenge in this country and it continues to be.